The investment of time for me to go to school has repaid itself exponentially. My kids see the importance of education. They see the importance of hard work. And my kids will get an education. It's not optional for them. And they've seen the benefit of that. So I can't wait around for people to offer me a job or to offer me assistance. I have to step up and ask for what I need. Because, and then when, when I do that, people are here and they're ready to help, but they don't know what I need. So I have to ask for it. Growing up, I was taught that first I should be a mother and that that was the most important thing that I should do. And the education was secondary and that it was just as a backup plan for if something happened in my life or if something happened to my husband, I would have a way to, to take care of myself and the kids. That message affected my choices because I didn't pursue education when I was single and when I was at a, the prime age to be getting an education, a secondary education. And instead I got married young and had kids young early and a lot of them. <laughs> I didn't really talk to people when it was hard. Um, so there weren't a lot of people that were close to me that even knew what was happening. So when I asked for the divorce, his family especially, they thought it came out of nowhere. So they were very angry with me and very upset with me for choosing that. And there was so many people that were against that choice. And looking at it logistically, <laughs> I've got four kids under eight, like with nothing. Like, <laughs> what was I supposed to do? And I, but I just knew, like I had come to a point in the marriage where things had been hard since about a year and a half into it. So we had a honeymoon baby. Things get hard at like a year and a half, but we've got a kid and I have no education. So, and this is marriage, like you do what you gotta do to make it work. It finally came to a point for me where I knew that staying married was gonna be hard and getting divorced was gonna be hard, but this was a time that I get to choose which hard I want. And so I chose divorce because it was what I thought our family needed. And it's been an amazing gift for our family. Hard, of course, like no doubt but also so many amazing things have come from that. Beautiful things and so much love and support for myself and for my kids and for my ex-husband. It's been amazing. So when I got divorced, I had my four kids and I had an associate degree. So looking at my options of how I was gonna take care of the five of us and find housing, I, had, I was looking at minimum wage jobs, which would pay for barely cover childcare, let alone if I wanted to go back to school, I'd have to work a job and go to school and figure out how to pay childcare and rent and everything else. And so I was in a really tough position where I couldn't provide for us. I looked into several options of what would be flexible with my kids because that was my number one priority was flexibility with my kids' schedule. So I looked into nursing. I looked at going back to school at a university, a traditional university, but I didn't have the time. So a friend of mine suggested the pharmacy technician program at Dixie Technical College and looking at the outcome of what technicians make and the time invested in the classroom, it was a perfect fit for me. So I applied and enrolled and that start, I started that process in September and then started class the 1st of January. After six months of the didactic portion of class sitting in the seat and then 180 hours of my externship, I was offered two jobs by separate pharmacies. And so I was able to be hired before I had finished my hours. And I was employed with them and we were able to, I was able to still be with my kids and work part-time at first while they were teeny getting into elementary school and then worked up to full-time and then worked up. And I, during that time I was still volunteering at the college because I love it so much and just kept volunteering and working with them. I had been working full-time at the pharmacy and I had, also been working as an adjunct at the college, working nights and working their lab hours. So I was working a job and a half and I'd been doing that for almost, it was a year and a half, almost two years. And one night I was just exhausted and I was so tired of it. And so I decided that I needed to change something about my situation. So the president was in her office working late that night and I walked into her office and I asked her if I could please work here full time. And I told her that I would 
clean the bathrooms. I would do whatever she needed me to do as long as I could work here full time. I wanted to be a part of the camaraderie that's here and I wanted to better our situation. One of the biggest things that I learned in this situation and in, in trying to figure out how to, how to be independent with my kids is that nobody cares as much about our survival and about our life as I do. So I can't wait around for people to offer me a job or to offer me assistance. I have to step up and ask for what I need. Because, and then when, when I do that, people are here and they're ready to help, but they don't know what I need. So I have to ask for it. So a week later, I had a job offer. And so they offered me a full-time instructional position working with the pharmacy technician program. From the time that I left my marriage, it took about two years before we were off of Medicaid, off of government assistance, and that I was able to provide for our family solely. And my kids are in the best position that they've ever been in. And it's afforded me, I get to go on field trips with my kids. I get to have holidays with my kids. I get to be home with them as much as possible for a full-time working mom. But this job has been amazing and it helps me. It reminds me every day of where I come from and what other people are going through and what a big difference this tuition, the small price of tuition can make in someone's life and completely change it for them. So we no longer qualify for Medicaid or government assistance and we're also in the process of building a home with Habitat for Humanity. And that was a connection that was made because I went to Dixie Technical College. What's next for me is I know that there's doors open for me and I know that there's more doors that will open that I can't imagine. Because if I look at where I was four years ago, if I would have set hard, fast goals as to where I want to be, I, everything that has happened for me has exceeded my expectations. Far, I couldn't have imagined where I would be now. So for me to, de, to want to describe or to envision what it would be like, I don't know. But I am open and I'm ready to say yes and I'm going to work hard. And so anything can happen anything. For more resources, visit uvu.edu slash uwlp.